In this video, we will learn how to provide an anisotropic or orthotropic conductivity value to a particular material inside CFX3. In order to do that, we have to use an external CCL file and I will show you how to use that. Let's say, for example, we have two domains here. The first domain is solid 1, which is using copper as the material. And the second domain is solid 2, which is using steel as the material. Now, if I go to steel in the material properties and go to the transport properties, you'll see the thermal conductivity is a fixed value of 60.5 watt per meter Kelvin. Now, there is no way to directly specify a orthotropic conductivity uh, inside CFX Pre. But what we can do is we can use an external CCL file to generate that. In order to do that, I will show you how to create or how to use the CCL file here. This is the CCL file and in this file you will see the thermal conductivity has been defined for the steel material in three different directions along X, Y and Z. Along the X direction it has 10 watt per meter Kelvin, along Y it is 20 watt per meter Kelvin and along Z it is 15 watt per meter Kelvin. Now I will show you how to use this in the CFX Pre. Once you have specified the material properties and set the case up properly, we can go and define the run. This will create the .def or the .definition file and the panel will open up like this. So once this is done, we can go into the solver setting and in solver arguments, we can provide the information of the CCL file using this command. Steel and ISO is the name of the CCL file that I've saved with. Once this is done, we can create start run. And once the run is done, we can go to the top of the out file to see whether the CCL file has been written properly. So as you can see, the thermal conductivity of the steel has been written properly with 10, 20 and 15 watts per meter Kelvin respectively in X, Y and Z directions.